As I reported in my last update, I did write to Leroy Jock Hill on July 9th, inviting the Confederacy Chiefs to meet with the Chief and Councillors of the Elected Council as soon as possible in order that we can begin discussions on developing a working relationship for the benefit of our entire community. I spoke to Jock last week and he said that the Chiefs discussed our request at their meeting on September 6th and they have refused our request to meet at this time. He told me that they are sending me an official letter and once we receive this we will review it and decide on next steps. I find it very unfortunate that the Chiefs have made this decision as I believe that we need to work together for the benefit of our whole community. Meetings and speaking engagements I have attended um, since the last update. The Woodland Cultural Centre, they have an exhibition of Kent Monk Monkman's artwork and I also attended a commemoration there for the veterans of World War I. I attended the Six Nations pageant, which was the show that featured the life of Tom Longboat, and I want to commend the people that threw that together. I also took part in a 5K walk with the Team Diabetes. We also had our Try Hugs Not Drugs, which was very successful this year. I also participated at a hockey night in Brantford that was organized by Phil, Mon Phil McColeman, the MP there, and helped to raise funds for the United Way. I also spoke at the swearing-in of the new Justice of the Peace, at uh, Branford, who is Audrey Green Summers, who is a member of Six Nations, and she is the third woman from Six Nations who has been a JP in Branford. Sherry Miracle also performed Paddle Song at Chiefswood Park in August, and it was an excellent performance. I took part in the Political Confederacy meeting at the Chiefs of Ontario. We also held our Fall Fair in September, and I want to congratulate Ms. Chesney Martin, Martin, who is our new Miss Six Nations, and congratulate all the other winners of Miss Teen, Preteen, Little Miss, Tiny Tots, etc. I also took part in the fundraising golf tournament for the Library Archival Center. Uh, and last weekend I attended a powwow in Hamilton, which was organized by some of our individuals and citizens that live in the city of Hamilton. There is a, a suicide prevention group formed in our community. It's made up of volunteers. They are called Brightening the Spirit to Breaking the Silence. And they held a, a bag lunch on last Wednesday it's in um, in Veterans Park and gave everybody a free lunch and it was part of their efforts to to bring uh, uh, notice for Suicide Prevention Day. And they're looking for support and volunteers for any of them to help. Anybody wants to join them, you can contact Dorothy Patterson or Reverend Lauren Casey. I also was invited to take part in a round table on suicide prevention with Phil McCollman, the MP, and Dave Levac, the MPP. Uh, later uh, last week, our, um, some of the councillors and myself, we took a tour of Kayanase and the Multi-Trades Building. Kayanase has a number of uh, trees and shrubs and that, that they are available for sale to the community and I suggested that they might want to get a flyer out to the community and let everyone know about what they have there. It's a very interesting place and everyone should drop in to visit it. Uh, I also took part in a photo op that the skateboard kids had when they accepted a donation of $2,500 from CIBC. And last Friday was the first PD day of this school year and I was invited down to IL Thomas to speak to all the teachers and bring greetings to them as they begin their new school year. Some of the upcoming events is today I'm going to, after this, go to see uh, MDC General School for their open house and their Meet the Teachers Night. On Wednesday, September 17th, there will be a town hall on post-secondary education which is taking place at Six Nations Polytech. I'm also scheduled to attend the Iroquois Caucus at Oneida this week on September 18th and 19th. I will be taking the part, as I said, in the presentation on the Senate Committee on Bill C-10, but we don't have a definite date for that yet. There will be another Senate Committee on Housing is going to be visiting our community this Friday, September 19th. They want to view our housing and they have some questions. Again, the bus tour is on September 25th of the northern part of the Haldeman Track. And on September 27th, Saturday, there will be a community walk against violence that is being organized by Gronokusha. I encourage everyone to take part in that. And let's help all come together and, and uh, you know, walk against violence in our community. On September 30th, October 1st and 2nd, I will be attending an Ontario First Nations Limited Partnership Special Assembly in Toronto. Uh, that is a body that looks after the gaming dollars that we receive every year. On October 3rd, I will be speaking at the Council of Canadians in Hamilton. On October 4th, the Sisters and Vid Spirit Vigil will be holding an, an event at the Woodland Cultural Centre, and they've invited me to take part in that. October 5th, the Mohawk Chapel will be holding their Thanksgiving service, and everyone's welcome to attend that. 
October 8th, I will be in Toronto attending a leadership meeting with the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs and the Ministry of Child and Youth Services to talk about an Aboriginal child and youth strategy. On October 9th, I'm working on a meeting with the Minister of Indian Affairs in Ottawa, that's Bernard Valcour. We're hoping to talk to him about our land rights, about education and any other issues that uh, Council feels should be on that agenda. I've also been invited to take part in the Assembly of First Nations Task Force on Reform and Restructure, and it might be held along the same days as the Minister meeting. I would also like to promote the Farmer's Market, which is held every Saturday behind the plaza in Ishwigan. Please come out and support the vendors who are there every weekend. There are some good deals out there. I was there this past weekend and bought a lot of stuff. There will be a few more, a few more weeks at, the, at that location, and then they will be moving to the greenhouse on 4th Line over the winter months. We can provide more information on that once their schedules are prepared. We will be presenting various recognition of achievement to a variety of community members at upcoming council meetings. One person I do want to recognize today is Stephanie Restool, who is a cancer survivor. She's just walked 60 kilometers last weekend for the cure for cancer. She is one strong woman to have completed this walk, and we are all very proud of her. We will also be acknowledging all of the athletes, coaches, managers, chaperones who, who participated in the North American Indigenous Games that were held in Regina in July and proudly represented Six Nations. That will be coming up sometime in October, so if you were one of those athletes, please uh, listen for uh, when we may be doing that recognition here at Council. I have to mention that now Six Nations has made lacrosse history this year with four Ontario champions. The Junior A Arrows and Junior B Rebels were, all, were national champions and the Senior B Rivermen received a silver medal at the Nationals. And last Friday we were all there when uh, the Six Nations Chiefs claimed the Man Cup and became the Senior A National Champions. We are so proud of all of, all of the teams and all of the cross players and we want to join with the teams and put on a huge community celebration. I've already been talking to some of the team personnel and we're going to come together and and put a plan together so that the community can really celebrate. As we talked about it, we learned that there are other champions that we need to also recognize. There are the Iroquois Nationals who were um, got bronze, there were the Rochester Nighthawks who won, we had the Junior Nighthawks who won a tournament, there are many provincial teams, so we are, a, it's been a summer of champions and I think we are a community of champions. Um, so once we get information on that put together, we will be getting uh, more info out to the community. I'm hoping too that we can uh, get more media here because I was a little disappointed because it is such a historic event that the mainstream media hasn't been giving it the attention it deserves. So I'm reaching out to some of the media contacts I have to see if we can't get like TSN and other high profile media down here. I just want to close by also saying we had two nominees that were nominated for Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. So we're not only champions in sports, we are also a, a community of award winning musicians and artists. Uh, those uh, nominees were Joel Johnson for Blues and Logan Stotts. And um, although Joel didn't win, I'm glad to say that Logan did. So we hope to try and recognize him at some point in the future as well. So that's it for this month. Yawa.